Good morning everybody, this Tuesday morning, welcome to King's at Home Daily, still in the garden, probably have an overcoat on soon, hope you're well, and uh, hey, let's, let's pray as we start our little study on uh, the Sermon on the Mount, let's pray as we start this morning. Lord, thank you for a new day, thank you for a new opportunity to, to, to follow you, a new opportunity to to serve you, a new opportunity to please you. And we want to do that. So please help us now as we look at challenging things in your word. Speak to us, I pray, by your spirit, in Jesus' name. Well, how did you get on yesterday? You, you know, turning the other cheek, not demanding your rights, having a heart of compassion towards others, not turning a blind eye. How did you get on? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it, it, we need moment by home, my moment help from the Lord, don't we? Which is why we, we, we do walk with him. That's, that's the Christian life. And, and those that, people used to wear little bands, you know, what would Jesus do? What would WWJD, what would Jesus, and it's a very good question to ask. Lord, what would you do here? And to have a conversational walk with the Lord through each day. That, that's, that's the only way to, 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 to to take on board the things that we're looking at here. Lord, what do you want of me here? It's not down to rule books, it's down to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So let's see what today has for us. We're coming to the end of chapter five, and we start with that first, we're at verse 43, we've got that same statement, you have heard that it was said. That's what the Pharisees, the laws, their external righteousness, tick the boxes. You can get away with this, but you can't get away with that. No, no, no. This is hard. It's much more than ticking boxes. Okay. You have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Don't even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. <laughs> we thought it was getting difficult in the last few days. Whoa, we've really hit it now in verse 48 there. Okay, so let's see where we're going. You've heard it was said. Pharisees. Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Well, it doesn't say that anywhere. Hate your enemy in the Bible. Um, but it was something that, you know, the Pharisees would sort of justify in the way that they, they uh, things for their own ends and so on. But I tell you to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Now, there was a bit of a problem in the um, uh, in, 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 amongst the Jews, this whole question of, of uh, who your neighbour was, love your neighbour. Of course, if you, you know, you, you can slide out of that one, oh, but that person's my neighbour, but that one's not, so I needn't bother about them. So you could be selective, and they were selective. And as you know, the Samaritans, the Samaritans were, uh, they were considered a lower class. They were a they were a bit of a mixed race, if you like. There, 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 because of their history, there was sort of some mixed uh, blood in them, as it were. They, they, they weren't true, pure-blooded Jews. And so they were despised. And so, hence, that wonderful parable of the good Samaritan, <laughs> who was actually doing better than the uh, true-blooded Jew because of his attitude for that chap who'd been uh, beaten up and so on. So, love your neighbour. I tell you, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father. This, this, this is what it's all about. We really do want to live as children of our Heavenly Father. Don't we? We really do. And it's no good to say, well, it's my personality. Well, I'm just like this. And I, No, 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 no. Um, uh, earthly heritage or background might mean we've got certain traits but 
that's not what we want to live by. Angie's not listening, so I can talk about people from Yorkshire. They're, well, you know, they're kind of, they're, they're, they're fairly blunt, and well, that, 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 that's okay, but it's not an excuse for anything. I might, might need to uh, edit that bit. Anyway, um, of course, Angie's perfect, you'll know that. And, and, and so what, what, what Jesus is saying here is that we're to be like our heavenly father, and he's full of grace. And, and, and he's our Abba Father. And, and, and he doesn't have a, 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 his attitude is, is, is constant, his love for, for us. And uh, so he, he's not grading us the way we can grade people. We want to be children of our Father in heaven. And, because it, and he goes on to say, he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good. In other words, every day he treats everyone the same. I, you sometimes hear people saying the sun righteous on the sun shines on the righteous. Well, the Bible actually says it shines on both, because such is the kindness of God that, that we all benefit from the goodness of of God. He sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. And then he goes on, if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Again, we're being called to something more and and it, the world um, only loves those who love them but it's it, it, what what virtue is there in that don't even the tax collectors do that of course you know tax collectors had a really bad press uh, in New Testament times basically because they were working for the Romans and they were going amongst their own demanding taxes um, on behalf of the Romans and not making themselves very popular. And if you greet, now this is, I, this, I feel challenged here, if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Don't even pagans do that. You know, when I read that, I immediately thought about about kings and on a, on a Sunday. And, ha, and this may be just trivial, but I love our welcome team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So important. We love and welcome everybody. And, 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 you know, for those, it's not just for welcome team, but for all of us. It's so easy on a Sunday just to be with those we, we, we really get on with well. And, uh, and you know, uh, of course, it's great to, to do that, to mingle with, with, to, with, uh, with dear friends. But I want to have a heart that's, I want to have, have eyes that, that's looking for those who are perhaps being missed and to reach out to them because that's the heart of God. And we want to be like our heavenly Father. We don't just want to be like morally good people in the world. We want to be different. And that's what this whole Sermon on the Mount is about. And so he ends up with the verse 48, be perfect therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Well, I'd put it like this. That is our trajectory. One day, you and I are going to be in the presence of the Lord. And when we see him, we will be like him. <laughs> yes, we will. That, that, this is the trajectory of our lives. Somehow when we're standing in the presence of the Lord, his glory will reflect on us and we'll be just like him. Meanwhile, we're on that journey, and while we're on that journey, we've got the opportunity each day for the glory of the Lord to be reflected through us. And we've got the presence of the Lord with us, we've got the Holy Spirit with us to help us make that happen. And that's what Jesus is saying. This is your trajectory now. Not ticking boxes, impressing everybody, trying to just wheedle your way out of challenging circumstances. We're to live like the Lord. So today, you've got the opportunity to reflect a little bit of the glory of the Lord, especially through the challenging moments that you face. So I'm going to pray for us uh, to that end today. Lord, it's a wonderful thought that one day we're going to be like like you.
Lord Jesus. We're going to be like you. We'll see you face to face and we'll be like you. All by grace, because you have made us your own and given us a new heart. Lord, we, we want to live with that expectation, that trajectory. So please help us today as we go through uh, the stuff of life. May we fellowship with you, walk with you, converse with you, talk to you. Recognise your promptings and little nudges so that something of your glory can shine through us today. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Have a good day. And I'll see you again tomorrow.